And one thing we left out was you did meet David Bowie and he offered to write some songs for Breaking Glass and you turned him down. He said, no. <laughs> yeah. It was already written on. Thank you, David. Very kind. How you but turn around down David Bowie writing the songs? How do you? Uh, I, well, because... I was a spunky little monkey yeah. at that time. Uh, I was so excited to meet him. Tony Visconti had said, come in tonight if you want to meet David Bowie. He's recording. And he was recording for the Kenny Everett show. And he was doing an acoustic version, the ground control to Major Tom. <gasps> so I, I go into the studio, we're well, watching recording. There's a woman there called Coco, Corin, who used to be his assistant and sort of managed him. And she's a little formidable, a bit scary, uh, because I'd heard about her, and I thought, mm, she's a really tough woman. Sitting there watching, and he comes out, and Tony takes us into his office, says, um, you know, this is David, and it's Hazel, and Hazel's just done a film called Breaking Glass, and we shook hands, and then David said, ooh, Breaking Glass, they, did they name it after my song? <laughs> That's when I went, no, we actually thought of that title you know, ourselves. Um, and uh, I didn't go as far as saying, do you have a song called Breaking Glass? I don't know. And, and then he said, you know, I could write some songs for you if you want for the film. And I thought, no. I said, we've already recorded them, actually, but thank you. And uh, that was number two question. One, two. Then number three question was, you cut Tony's hair, don't you? Yes. Will you give me a haircut? <laughs> And I was in seventh heaven. I didn't have hairdressing scissors or anything with me. I just had uh, some really crappy things from the cupboard of the office and uh, dirty tea towels around his neck. And he was so nice. I mean, you imagine putting dirty tea towels around the neck of your hero and then chopping their hair and feeling the skull and go, who is this guy? It was great, it was lovely. And then at the end of all that, he said he was going to come to a gig, which is things I'd read about in music papers, you know, that so-and-so came to see, you know, some big star comes to see some little, you know, starlet or star in the making. And the fact that he was going to come and see me was like, yes! 